This tutorial will show you how to make this slouchy summer hat. It's like a slouchy beanie. The written pattern for this is on my blog and I'll put a link in the description box. If you make this hat, I'd love to see pictures. You can always post pictures on my Facebook wall or if you add the pictures to your Ravelry project page, I'll be sure to see them there. This is the yarn that I'm using. It's a worsted weight cotton yarn. You could use another yarn, but I think that the cotton yarn is most comfortable for the summertime. So I'm using also, let's see, a size H crochet hook. We're going to start by chaining eight. So we'll put a slip knot on our hook and chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we're going to slip stitch into the first chain, so that's the eighth chain from the hook. We're going to slip stitch to form a ring, like that. And now we're going to chain three. This will act as our first double crochet. And we're going to put 19 more double crochets into this ring. So there will be a total of 20 altogether. Once you have your 19 double crochets plus your beginning chain 3, so you have a total of 20 posts in this uh, ring, you're just going to slip stitch into the top of the chain 3 to join your round. Okay, And by doing the chain 8, you have a nice big open spot here in the center. So now we're going to chain 3. This will count as our first double crochet, and then we will chain three more. We're going to skip a stitch and double crochet into the next stitch. We're going to chain three, skip a stitch, and double crochet into the next stitch. So in round two, you're making posts of one stitch. And you just continue doing this all the way around. Okay, so now once you've gotten all the way around, you're going to do your last chain three. You're going to skip your last stitch, and you're going to slip stitch into the third chain of your beginning chain six. So that would technically be the top of what is acting as your first double crochet. So here, let's zoom in. This is your first chain, this is your second chain, and this is your third chain. So we're going to slip stitch right into that stitch. And I go under both loops, yarn over, pull through everything. Just like that. Okay, that's round two finished. Now we're going to chain three. This acts as your first double crochet, and you're going to put a second double crochet in that same spot. Like that. And we're going to chain three. We're going to skip over this chain three, and we're going to go into this double crochet and put two double crochets in the same stitch. Like that. Then chain three, skip this chain three, and put two double crochets in this double crochet. And you're going to continue this all the way around. So for row three, you're going to be doing bars of two double crochets. So this row two, we had bars with just one double crochet, now we have two. We're going to continue all the way around. Now that we've come all the way around and you've put your last two double crochets in your last uh, double crochet from the round before, we'll do our last chain three and we're going to slip stitch into the top of your first uh, beginning chain three to join the round. And that's the end of row three. So you can see we had one double crochet and now we have two. So for the next row, which is row four, 
going to start with a three chain three. That's your uh, first double crochet. And we want to put three double crochets where there's two here. So to do that, you're going to add one extra stitch. So this is your first stitch, and in the next double crochet, we're going to put two. If you can see what's going to happen is for each row you're going to add an extra double crochet to this bar and the space in between the bars, these chain threes, are going to stay consistent. So chain three, skip this, and in these two chains, I'm sorry, these two double crochets, you need to put three double crochets. So we'll put the first one in the first stitch and in the second stitch we'll put two. Now we'll chain three again, skip this chain three, and do the same thing. So for each row, we're just going to increase by one stitch in these solid bars. And just continue all the way around. Okay, so now at the end of the row, I have did my last three double crochets, my last three chains, and I'm going to slip stitch into the top the beginning chain three to join the round. So now you can see this is row one was these double crochets, 20 double crochets. So by looking at the pattern here, this one, row two, had one stitch in this bar. Row three had two stitches in this bar. Row four has three stitches in the bar. So you can see how this is going to grow out. You will just continue adding one extra stitch to each of these solid sections and it will continue to grow larger and larger. So at any point you can stop growing out and just repeat the last row you did over and over again and it will start growing down. But you can see how you can use this to make um, several different sizes and it's very simple to uh, change the sizes. So I'm just going to continue adding rows. So I'm going to chain three. It's going to act as your first double crochet. Now I have three double crochets and I need to put four in here. And on these odd numbers, so there's three here, it's an odd number, you'll have a very center stitch and that's where you'll want to put your increase. And that just makes things look nice and even. So we'll put our increase here. So this will be three, uh, two and three. So your chain three acted as your first double crochet. Then you have two and three. And in the last stitch, you'll put your fourth stitch. So you want one, two, three, and four. Now the space in between, the chain three, that's going to stay consistent throughout the whole hat. So we chain three, skip the chain three, and then go to the next solid section. We're going to double crochet in the first stitch. Put our increase in the second, so two double crochets in the second stitch. and then one double crochet into the third stitch. Okay, Chain three and repeat. And you're going to do this all the way around. Okay, So this is the end of row five. I did my last four double crochets in the solid bar. I have a chain three and just like before I'm going to slip stitch into the top of the beginning chain three to join the round. So now we have to put five double crochets in the solid. So we're going to start with chain three. That acts as your first double crochet. And now you don't have a very center stitch to put your increase in, so you can choose um, one of the two center two stitches. So for even numbered rows like this, you won't have a center stitch. So what I do just to keep things even um, is put the increase in the right hand center stitch and then the next time there's an even row we'll put it on the left hand center stitch and really it doesn't matter that much where you put your increases you just want one extra stitch in each solid section per row um, the reason why I do it this way is just to make sure things stay even and symmetrical Okay, so that means now we have five. So you're beginning chain three. You had two here, so that's two and three, and then four and five. Okay, 
and then just like in the rows before, chain three, skip the chain three, and do the same thing in the next solid bar. So one in the first one, two and three in the second one, and then four in the third one, and five in the fourth one. And your triangle is getting even wider at the bottom. Chain three and repeat all the way around. Okay, so this is the end of row six. I have my last five double crochets in the solid part, my last chain three, and to join the round, I'm just going to slip stitch into the top of the beginning chain three. Now from here, you could just add additional rows, increasing on these solid bars to make this circle bigger and bigger and bigger, but I'm gonna stop here. If you had a lot of hair or maybe dreadlocks that you wanted to put into this hat, you might wanna make this a little bit bigger. But I'm going to stop here and I'm going to start making the sides. So I'm not going to increase anymore. I'm just going to repeat this last row that I did. So five stitches in the solid bars. And I'm going to repeat that for the sides of the hat. So chain three will be your first double crochet. And then we're just putting one double crochet into each stitch. So we won't be increasing anymore. We're just going to put one double crochet in each stitch. And because I stopped with uh, the five, I should have five all the way down my side. So one, two, three, four, five. Then just like all the other rows, you're gonna chain three, skip the chain three, and repeat. So one double crochet in each double crochet all the way around. And I'm gonna do this for several rows, so maybe eight or nine rows and then I'll see how it looks. If your circle was bigger, if you made this like extra slouchy, so you made this circle grow out several more rounds before you started doing the straight sides, you might need to do even more rows because it'll be even slouchier. So I'm gonna work on this. I'll do um, maybe eight or nine rows and then I'll come back and show you how it looks. Okay, so here's my hat and I repeated row five ten more times and I think that's a good size for me. I don't have quite that much hair. If I had more hair, I might make it a little bit longer and that would make it slouchier, but I think this looks best on me. So you just have to try it on every once in a while and see how many rows you want to put on it. Now to finish this off, I'm just going to do a border row and for that I'm just going to do single crochets. So. I have slip stitch to join my last round, so now I'm just going to chain one and then put single crochets in each stitch all the way around. So in these first five stitches, they'll go right into the double crochets. And then when you get to this chain three space, you're just going to put one single crochet in each of the chain stitches. across and then continue that all the way around. Okay, so now I've gone all the way around and I'm back to the beginning. So I'm just going to slip stitch into that beginning chain one to join the round. Now I'm going to add a couple more rows of single crochet. So to do that, I need to chain one and then just put one single crochet in each stitch around just like we did the row before. And you can make this band as wide as you like. Personally, I think if it's a bigger and slouchier hat, it would look best with a wider band. Since this is not quite as slouchy as it could be, I'm probably gonna do it a narrower band, maybe three rows of single crochet, and then I'll see how it looks. But you can make this uh, band as long as you like, or as wide as you like. Just continue adding rows of single crochet, just like the row before. Okay, so I ended up doing three rows of single crochet for this band. I think that looks best for this hat, but you can make this band as wide as you want, like I said. You can make it as long as you want to make it extra slouchy. So it's really easy to customize this hat to however you want it. And the last thing is to just weave in any loose ends and your hat is finished. So I hope you like this pattern in this tutorial. If there's any project in particular that you would like to see, make sure you leave me a comment so I can work on that. And thanks for watching. 
So glad you decided to check out my video today. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next one. If you want to check out the description box, I'll put links to my Facebook and my Pinterest account so you can follow me there. And thanks so much for watching.